uh, in the last video we designed the zero the first pole the second pole and the dc gain so before moving to the design in cadence uh, we have two more things to derive first thing is uh, gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product is uh, this is the dc gain into the first pole so uh, dc gain we have gm1 r1 gm2 r2 into first pole is 1 by gm2 r1 r2 cc so we can cancel the gm2 r1 we can cancel r2 also is cancelled so finally gain band with product or unity gain bandwidth you can say is uh, gm1 by cc before moving to the design uh, we have to discuss about the slow rate also the slow rate of a um, two stage amplifier is little bit different from a single stage amplifier single phase single stage defam if you remember uh, this is the blog circuit diagram of single stage differential amplifier this is the load capacitance CL and these two are the inputs in, in. Uh, what are the signs so this would be negative because if this is a common source amplifier this part if we increase this gate voltage the drain voltage will decrease so this is the negative sign and this is the positive So, slow rate is the rate of change of the output, that is how much quickly the output can change and what are the limiting factors. So, if we have a circuit like this and current I0 is flowing through, the, the tail current is I0, then suppose there is a sudden change in the input voltage. This input voltage is gone up and this has gone down. So how quickly the output can change according to this. So how much maximum this can go? This can go up to maximum like that this MOSFET is completely turned on. This MOSFET is completely turned on and this MOSFET is completely turned off. So this is the maximum it can happen. So when it, this is completely turned on, no, this is completely off or the tail current I0 should flow through this because this is off there is no current through this so this is a current mirror so there is no current through this so mirroring this there will be no current through this MOSFET also so from where which this I0 should flow it should come from the capacitor okay this we explained uh, during our discussion the single stage differential amp okay single phase of amp that is differential amp affair but in the Two stage design, uh, this is a little bit different. Here, the load capacitor CL was determining the slow rate. For a two stage op amp, uh, the story is a little bit different. We already derived the circuit diagram of two stage op amp. It uh, looks like this. I will draw it. It's a PMOS and a current mirror okay. tail current I0 so we will generally implement this with a MOSFET this one terminal this one terminal so this is the differential amplifier what we have 
from this we will have another common source amplifier stage okay there will be one v bias over here ideally this generally this also will be a mosfet will be connected anyway so we don't care about this now and uh, we have a compensation capacitor cc over here and this is the load capacitance cl so now we look how it is varying in two stage of amp so uh, like the differential amplifier we can say now this is the v output so you can see this will become positive because if we increase the the terminal this will be positive and this will be negative if we increase the voltage over the, of the gate of the mosfet the drain voltage will be decreasing again a inverting stage is there so effectively when the voltage is decreasing here the output voltage will increase so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal okay one inverting amplifier again one inverting amplifier now if you look at the slew rate if we change the input voltage so quickly so that one of the mosfet is completely on or one other is off suppose initially we increase this voltage very high and this is uh, so that this mosfet is completely on and this mosfet is completely off so this is the one situation for the slew rate we quickly change uh, increase the voltage so let's see how quickly the output is changing when this mosfet is off no current will flow through this no current will flow through this so there will not there will, there will not be any current through this mosfet also because this this two are current mirrors if there is no current in this branch there will not be any current in this branch so all the i0 should flow through this mosfet this mosfet so i0 will be coming here but from where it will come it cannot through come through this way so it have to come from this way this way means this is a gate of the mosfet so there is no current flow through this okay it should come through the cc from here from output voltage okay you got it if this mosfet is completely turned on then the only way to get the current is through cc so current will flow through cc and current current flow direction is like like this plus minus voltage will develop so what voltage will develop at this point it will be voltage will be increasing because you check the sign this is the positive and this is the negative so the same current will be in cl so you can say the voltage will be ramping like this so what is the slope of the this ramp this is not determined by cl because cl don't have much effect on the voltage here it is the cc this is actually controlling the current it is taking the current effectively increasing the output voltage so this slope of change of voltage is i0 by cc it is not the cl it is not the load capacitance like what we what we have seen in the differential case so the slew rate is i0 by cc for two stage amp amplifier so this is the one case the second case if the mosfet is if we apply some voltage such a way that this mosfet is completely off and this mosfet is on okay this is off and this is on so in that case all the current will be flowing through this way i0 will flow through this and this is completely off so there is no current through this mosfet but 
since I0 is flowing through this MOSFET, this is a current mirror, so this is mirrored here, so I0 should flow through this also. But to where this will be flowing? So this cannot flow through the gate, because as a gate it will not conduct any current, so it cannot enter here also, the only way for this to go is through CC. So the direction will be plus negative. Now the current, now the voltage will, will be coming down. Okay. So here also the rate of change of output voltage or the slope of the voltage will be I0 by CC. So here the CC and the I0 is determining how quickly this node voltage is increasing or decreasing. So the slow rate for a two stage of operation amplifier is I0 by CC. It is not the CL as in the case of single stage of amplifier.